Kia ora, good evening. The spokesman for the families of Pike River 29 says evidence at the Royal Commission of Inquiry that a second exit was planned but never constructed was devastating. Department of Conservation witness Craig Jones told the inquiry Pike River did not seek consent for the exit until 2009 and was not constructed when the November blast killed the 29 men. Bernie Monk says that evidence was tough. Retailers are weary about new legislation banning cigarette displays in stores. Under the new law, fines will also be increased for those caught selling tobacco to under-18s. The Retailers Association says confusion over the transition period for businesses, safety and costs are all issues of concern. Rail workers are still hopeful the rest of the wagon construction work outsourced to China will be brought back to New Zealand. The Rail and Maritime Transport Union says Kiwi Rail needs 4,000 wagons and orders have been placed for about 400. The union says there's still hope workers can get a bite at the remaining 3,600, but they need public opinion to help them. A leading economist believes Labour's tax plan will help lift our export performance and productivity. The election year plan is to introduce a capital gains tax in April 2013, should Labour win power in November. Chief Economist for Business and Economic Research Limited, Ganesh Nanan, says it will refocus New Zealand's efforts away from speculation and capital gain and into exports and productivity. And those are your headlines. I'm Lalanga Wallace for New Zealand's Rima.